<laughs> Thanks, friends, for watching our Papa and the Bandit video today. We're going to run around Quartzsite and check out a bunch of different stores looking for a part that Jim needs. We also run into this Amerigo Snap and Nap camper that's really cool looking. Come along and check it out. Well, Mike and uh, Jim and I came into town, came into the Roadrunner Market for my... For my uh, interest, I picked up firewood so we can have a fire tonight. It uh, was uh, an opportunity to pick up some wood and uh, it's expensive, it's five ninety nine a uh, a bundle. But uh, hey, you know, you want to have a nice fire, so that's what we're doing. Well, as long as we're in town, we're going to do a little thrift store crawling and uh, see if we can come up with any kind of bargains. There's a little thrift store right there behind me. Let's try that one out. Oh, well, okay, here we are. A little tiny, tiny thrift store. Lots of clothes. Ah, changing room. Ah, oh. Somebody in there changing stuff. Uh -oh. I'm gonna video no, him videoing just different kidding. stuff. Okay. <laughs> oh well, look at all of this. Oh, this is kind of a cool painting right here. Oh wait a minute, it's moving. It's moving around. Oh, oh, oh it looks kind of like Mike. Oh no. Well, okay. What's this? This is the Quartzite General Store going to go into and uh, behind that uh, taller sign you can see it says coyote fresh foods beer wine fresh meats wonder if that fresh meat is coyote meat let's go in and find out okay going into the quartzite general store, general store. Ooh, goodness sakes Best store in Fort in Quartzite. Wonder how much they paid her. <laughs> Ooh, how's it going down here today? Good. How are you, you working doing? hard? Not at all. No, is this the friendliest store in town? It is the it friendliest is. store in town. Well, you're a lot friendlier than the last place we were at. Oh, that's for sure. The best deli and the best meat. Best deli and the best meat. Oh, look at all of this good food here. Mmm, yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, and look at this ice cream or pudding, I guess maybe it is. Look at this pudding, Mike. Oh, man, that strawberry swirl looks awesome right there. Ooh, goodness sakes. Hi, are you having a good day? Well, yes, you are. Yeah, I'm good. This is a permanent record, see, so you oh. got you got to put on your best face. <laughs> Hi. Hey. No, him. Who? I don't know. Some guy back there was waving at me. Oh, okay. Woohoo. Okay, Mike, you're from Minnesota. Come here. I want to see you yeah. milk this cow. All right. Yeah, nothing. It's all rubbery. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, maybe this one will work. Mike, that's a bull. <laughs> <laughs> nice meat. This is a nice store. I like this store. Smells awesome in here. This is great. Water, got lots of soda. And the lines aren't as long. I like that. What do you think of that, Jim? Much shorter lines, huh? Yeah. I have to have to come in here. All right. I'm glad I stopped here. Oh, look at that nice produce section over here. Oh, man, did you bake these pies last night at your house? 
These were homemade. Oh, really? Hand, yeah. I was joking. See? Oh, my goodness. Those look so nice, too. Do you have a YouTube channel? I do. You do? You I, share it? It's called, I am. I yes, am. yes. It's called Papa and the Bandit. Okay. Yeah, because uh, I'm the Papa and my little, my little three-year-old black and white poodle is the Bandit. Yeah. We'll have to bring you in to visit us next time. Okay, I will. Well, this time I brought these three ugly humans with me instead oh. of my cute little puppy. Well, the dog gets treats. The people don't. <laughs> oh. Ooh, nice little produce section. Look at this. I like this. That's the dry section here. Cool. All right. Get bananas and you can get cuties. Awesome. Yeah, we have Hi. Hi. <laughs> if she goes a little over a pound, or if you go a little over one pound, I've already done that. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look at this. Nice deli department. They slice the meat for you. That's awesome. Oh, look yeah, at that nice piece of meat. Yeah. And how much do you want a third pound of pepper jack cheese? Ooh, Mike's buying the store out. That's yeah. awesome. I love sandwiches. I said, easy to make. Loves the delis. Okay. Love sandwiches. I like this barbecue over here. Man, that looks good. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Okay. I guess that means you're walking home because you gotta got to stay here and work off your meal. So it's called a, a snap and nap? An Amerigo snap and nap. Amerigo snap and nap. The back end pops out and it's all Okay. I want to go uh, get a little closer look at this. This is uh, this probably this is one of the most unique truck campers I've ever seen, and uh, he's got an old school truck that it sits on that's in really great shape. It looks like it's in totally restored condition. A snap and nap. Hi, how you doing? This is uh, the most unusual truck camper I've ever seen. How long have you had it? Three years. Three it's a years. The camper. Wow, it's and, uh, really awesome. I like it. They're pretty, uh, pretty rare. Amerigo snap and nap. Yeah, the rear end and the front window is what sold me on it. Right. Yeah. Sale. I'm like, that is the coolest looking front window. Oh, it's really cool. I gotta have it. So that's a bed up there. We're gonna drive three thousand miles to go get it. And wow. That's what we did. Where, how far, where were you, and where we to get it? North Carolina and drove to Yakima, Washington. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. And, and so, I, yeah, I bought a, I bought a different going. truck and bought the truck. It was a flatbed, and then I put the uh, camper on the flatbed. And, uh, yeah. Wow, it's really awesome. You you did you did well. well so you got a you. bed up front, and and this makes out into a bed in the back too. Yeah, for two. It's a little bit smaller back here. But uh -huh. I mean, I'm like five eleven, and I just I fit in there comfortable. Yeah. Nice. But uh, it just gives it a much bigger, makes it feel bigger than it really is having this extra bed. It's kind of nice. Yeah. It's really More cool. Really. Good job, Those man. People up there are interested in it. <laughs> well, where are you guys from? North Carolina. Oh, that's where you're from? Yeah. Ah. Uh, we've got a friend that lives in uh, Dallas, okay. North oh, Carolina. That's not too far. Yeah, that's where Jade's from. Yeah. Yeah. Been there. But it's, uh, it snows there in the winter. Yeah. <laughs> Does it? It's yeah. flooded. <laughs> it's super flooded right now. Is it really? Yeah. Well, I'm just going to uh, walk around it here. It's really awesome. You guys did good. Where, where did you see it for sale, like on Craigslist or something? Yeah. Craigslist. Huh. Wow, I'm, I'm from Washington. Okay. 
Yeah, but from the western side where it's wet. <laughs> All right, I'll let you go to the store. Nice job. What a great camper. Amerigo Snap and Nap. What do you think, Jim? Never seen anything like it. Never seen a thing like it before. Me either. I like it. I'm going to Google it and see if anything comes up on Google. Look at that window up there. Is it really? Huh? It's all it's a wrap around plastic window up there. And there's a bed up there. Looks like through the window looks like he's using it for storage right now. Nice. And uh, boy, this big generator on the front is going to uh, give him all the power that he needs, that's for sure. Pretty cool. Gamblers RV Parts and Service right here in fabulous downtown Quartzsite. Yabba dabba doo. Let's go check it out. Ooh. Look at all of this stuff they have in here. It's amazing. They got the inverter, Jim? They don't? No. Truck stop. Ah. They got any truck stops around here? They have one at the flying Pilot. Pilot. Oh, well, goodness. Wonder if they got any ribeye steaks in here, Mike. Ooh. No, I don't need anything here. Back on the road. Inverter, the man in there said, uh, got to go to uh, the Pilot Flying J truck stop. So we're going to go down there and check it out at the truck stop where inverters are cheap. They probably only cost one or two hundred dollars. <laughs> Driving uh, everywhere to hell and gone in Quartzsite looking for uh, a, uh, what are we looking for? Uh, an adapter? Laptop. Looking Charger. for a laptop power adapter for Jim's computer. Apparently, apparently his went belly up. And uh, so we're, that's what we're doing. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. At the uh, local loves. And uh, Jim's just run in there to see if maybe uh, one of the truck stations, travel centers has, uh, has what he's looking for. We tried, uh, what did we just try? The pilot. Pilot. They didn't have it. So uh, he's looking in here. Next stop, hardware store, if they don't have it here. Well, I kind of lost count now. This is the uh, Dollar General store. We're still looking for the... Uh, the direct current adapter for uh, Jim's computer and uh, anyway so this is our uh, latest effort <laughs> Well, I don't know where Jim went. I don't know where their electronic stuff is. There he is. They have something here? I don't see anything. All right. Well, let's try the next one. I have a feeling this is the last place that we're going to try for uh, Jim's part. It is the CarQuest Auto Parts store in Quartzsite, Arizona. And I'm not feeling a whole lot of confidence about it because the size of this store uh, indicates, that, oh, and the amount of time that Jim spent inside indicates the answer to the question was no! <laughs> okay, here we are at... Uh, Umpty dump stop trying to find this uh, stupid part for Jim. No?
tires, auto. We're getting desperate now. Who is the idiot that said this was a parts store? No, I think it was the guy with the Cabela's hat. That was all this guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, as it turned out, I had an extra power adapter in my RV, and uh, Jim was able to modify it to make it work with his computer. So, all's well, it ends well. And now we just relax around the campfire, the perfect conclusion to any nomad's day. <laughs> well, we got to see a whole lot of stores that we wouldn't normally see in Quartzsite if it weren't that we were looking for that inverter adapter that Jim needs for his computer. So for now, I hope you'll subscribe and click the bell, and Bandit and I will see you next time. <laughs>